Alright, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube, welcome to a brand new Let's Play of Warcraft 3. It's been quite a while since we actually did the original Warcraft 3 Let's Play. And since then, we have had Reforged, which if you watch things on the internet, if you are live on the Twitter or whatnot, you might have seen that the launch of Warcraft 3 Reforged didn't exactly go as smooth as Blizzard themselves wanted it, probably. <laughs> it, um... It, it came out with quite a few problems. Now, the last time that I streamed this, uh, when I started with it, a lot of people had questions about, it, like, what do I think or whatnot. And for me, um, seeing a bit of Warcraft 3, uh, all I really wanted was upgraded models, and uh, I, I would be a happy camper. If you go back to my story of Altric Valley, I pretty much mirror their, their opinion, and that's kind of what I got. So for me, the casual that I am, I, I don't mind Warcraft 3 Reforged. I think it's a bit overpriced for what it delivers, but I don't mind it. Now, that said, for those that actually devote it, you know, the fans that they're trying to make happy with a Reforged campaign, you know, the Warcraft 3 community that was active, they found themselves playing in a, I believe it's the whole Battle.net integration or the whole new system that they use. Either way, it, it came with a lot of problems. Connection problems, uh, lag problems. And, you know, in an RTS where, where speed is everything, lag problems is detrimental. Even now, I'm, I'm part of, um, of, a little, of a little community. Even now, they're still mentioning, like, look, we're trying to host these competitions. We're trying to host these tournaments, and we just can't. I don't really get why Blizzard decided to get rid of the old while introducing the new. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. And for me, again, the casual that I am, I've been enjoying it so far. So I've been trying it a little bit on normal mode. We're now actually going to go into uh, the more difficult mode. But first of all, we got a little, uh, little cinematic to enjoy. Because we were Never fools. Oh, shit. We have subtitles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like fools, we clung to the old hatreds and fought as we had for generations. How many people did not get into Warcraft with this cinematic right here? Like, it wasn't me, but I know that there are a lot of people that got into Warcraft with this cinematic. Remember how the um, Mr. Pandaria cinematic like mirrored this bit? You can't hear, Flores? What do you mean? Until the day the sky rained fire and the new enemy came among us. Uh oh. The Legion's back. I do appreciate the updated models. Mm. <laughs> Hello, everyone. The Burning Legion has invaded Azeroth once again, and heroes amongst the Alliance and Horde must put away their old hatreds. Stand now, Unite. On the brink of destruction, for the reign of chaos has come mm. at last. Either way, if you've never played Warcraft 3 before, would very much recommend finding a copy and get this experience under your belt. It is so worth it. Right, so I've been told that the cutscene was apparently a wee bit low. Um, let me know as we get into the game, yeah? Let me know as we get into the game if it's really too soft and I'll, I'll tinker around with the sound settings. Thrall's vision. So this is, um, at this point in time, Thrall has liberated himself the have run out from the internment camps, the met the Frostwolf can clan, met Kromash and the Hellscream clan, has been busy liberating all the other orcs and reformed the hordes, and on their journey, He gets in touch with the Guardian Medivh, brought back to his mother with, with the help of his mother Aquin. The remnants of the past scar the land. Medivh being slain by his friends Lothar and Ketgar. 
as they realized that he was corrupted by Sargeras. Which is besieged once again by conflict. And of course, that all led to the first invasion, the second invasion, and the internment camps as a whole. Appreciate this though. Hmm. That that looked a bit weird, that vehicle, the front of it. But here we see armies of the Horde and the Alliance marching upon one another. No, it's it's supposed to look better. <laughs> Heroes arise to challenge fate and lead their brethren to battle. Bum, bum, da, 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 da. As mortal armies rush blindly towards their doom, the burning shadow comes to consume us all. Uh oh. You. You must rally the horde and lead your people to their destiny. Yo, okay, Medivh. Get right on it. Like this is also part of the reason why I still want to play through it, as it allows me to rewatch and record these cinematics. Green Jesus wielding the mighty doom hammer. Ooh. They've only done the first one, the introduction one, yeah, yeah. And then they made like a, a higher quality of the other cutscenes, right? But then again, there was already a higher quality available on the YouTube anyways. I'm kind of surprised that I just can't, you know, I want to do hard and then just do all the campaigns on hard mode. It shouldn't be that difficult, you know? Chapter 1. We're about to chase some visions. I still need to figure out exactly where I'm going to put the camera and whatnot. Um, we'll figure it out. Somewhere in the Arafi Highlands, Fro, the younger warchief of the Orcish Hordes wakes up from his troubling dream. So, Durnhold Keep, as we can see on the map, uh, Durnhold Keep was the internment camp where they held Thrall. And once he liberated it and he did his whole thing, he came back there to confront Blackmore, the man who was very, very, very nasty to Thrall. Using the elements, he brought the keep low. What kind of nightmare was that? It was not a nightmare, young warchief, but a vision. Follow me, and I will reveal what your future holds. Like the little, uh, little updates on the profiles, they're kind of cool. I don't know what this is all about, but I'll play along. Also, the new PL models look freaking amazing. <laughs> You'll see them in a moment, they're Hello, awesome. Alright, so, welcome everybody. Mm. Um, I am not the greatest Warcraft yes. 3 player in the world, nor will I ever Indeed. pretend to be. You seem eager to be on your way. Feel free to tell However, me what to do. You Give must me first tips. Learn how to give orders to Thrall. Bexy mm -hmm. Gaming is appreciated. But first, I got I got Tudor Guy already helped me out. Very good. The path to the next banner leads through a black Notice area. how the black area shrinks as Thrall moves through it. Uh-huh. This reflects areas you have explored. Oh dear. Okay. I can do this. I can move the character around. <laughs> Lotar, my warriors. Hello, warriors. We are yours to command, war chief. Sick. Prepare yourselves. I sense a knoll ahead. Oh, no. To order Thrall's forces to defeat this foul creature, select all of your troops, click on the attack mm, button. This was only a scout, but the knoll's camp lies just ahead. Okay, so these, these basic order things... Order your troops to perform an aggressive attack move into the enemy encampment. These basic to things do this, I do know. Select all of your troops... Click the attack button and then left click on the ground in the middle of the knoll camp. Is it only that 
Is it only that they show health bars once you've attacked, or is it something that I can actually adjust and it just shows at all times? None will survive. Are you hiding anything delicious in your little Good in your job. little huts? Notice that Thrall no. gained a level from the experience it's an option? that he earned in combat. Uh, only options. Can acquire experience, allowing them to become incredibly powerful over time. Profanity filter. Oh, oh, that's that's online. Oh, okay. Uh, team color, damage, show unit life bars, always, there we go. Sick. Videos, full screen, high, 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 blah, 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 sounds, the volume and whatnot. We got subtitles, which I do like. Okay, cool. And then you can see here the classic switch. Um, I'm pretty sure you could put it back into classic settings, but you're still stuck in the same system, ain't it? It's the alt key, yeah. Heroes gain a oh, hero okay. point whenever they advance in level. These points can be used to acquire new abilities or oh. to improve previously learned ones. Right to you are, Harry. Point, there you go. Which is under the C button. All right. The wolves in Warcraft movies are big boys, but the wolf in this Warship, game is small boy. We discovered a group of murloc raiders in the nearby river. The Murlocs would make excellent targets for your new chain lightning spell. Uh huh. To have Thrall oh, yeah. use his new ability, click on the chain lightning button and then left click on one of the Speaking Murlocs. Speaking of the Warcraft movie, some monsters drop treasure when they are defeated. Treasure chests hold Dude, powerful I'm trying magic to talk. items that can only be picked. This particular treasure chest contains uh -huh. a useful potion of mana. Ooh. Notice that the potion now occupies one of Thrall's inventory slots My in the bottom God. middle of the screen. It is Potions amazing. Of mana can be used to replenish a hero's Let us mana. use this time as well that allow the casting of spells to decide where I'm gonna use where I'm gonna put my camera. Uh, what if like that's health bar? What if I put myself like here and then maybe a teensy bit smaller, something like that. And then we'll just, Ooh, there we go. And then we will return to the game. How's that? Does that work? That's good. Yeah. Excellent. I mean, you don't need to see anything in the top right corner right now. Looks good and bald. Oh my. <gasps> a deer. The wolf howl signifies that night has begun. Be wary, my warriors. Don't let nightfall dull your senses. Yep. It's very spooky in the dark. Pretty sure that if I click on those deers often enough, they'll actually An die. Ogre. We'd have a fierce battle on our hands if the beast weren't sleeping. Get him, my warriors. Aw, uh, I wish I could summon yes. the puppies. But speaking of the Warcraft movie, remember when they had Thrall the whole horse riding scene and his hand was like on top of the of horse? To refresh Thrall and it kind of looks silly. Mana to cast additional spells. I remember going through it frame by frame and it just looked... That horse, that poor horse, it looked so sad. And so in distress for ride, with an orc riding it. I should watch the Warcraft movie again. Maybe it's actually better now. Maybe I just remember it being very bad. Quest text is top left, huh? A golem. Ooh. Watch yourselves, my brethren. Those creatures do not sleep at night. That's okay. We'll kill it. It wasn't a bad movie, just didn't live up to the source. Nah, 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 nah. Dabu. Disagree. I mean, good or bad, it's it's purely an opinion thing, ain't it? For honor. But yes. I don't know. I, I I wouldn't. I would don't think I would ever consider Warcraft to be just a good movie. Considering pacing come. and whatnot. Do you have you done a movie review on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done a movie review uh, back when it was just released. Um, actually, a really good time to be a lore channel. Let me tell you. All of a sudden, a whole bunch of people were like, "Hey, Warcraft in the movie theaters. I wonder what the story is of Warcraft." Let me help you, kind sir or madam. Sick. All that Excellent. work. Excellent. Thrall has found a magic ring. Mm. Rings are very useful because they provide a constant passive benefit as long as they are carried. Mm. Sick. No, but I remember that the pacing was just very off in the Warcraft movie. They tried to do too much in too little time, as well as the humans. Uh, like, the orcs have more emotions than the humans. And just a couple of couple of threats here and there that really irked me. Like, the, the son of Lothar dropping that his general is actually his dad. And I'm like, okay, yeah, he's gonna die. 
and Garona at the campfire, who out of the blue pipes up and tells Ketgar, like, you want to fuck me? And then they do, like, the whole backstory thing, and it's like, uh... What? What's happening? Greetings, son of Duratan. Hello, Medivh. I knew you'd find your way. It was you I saw in the vision. Who are you? How do you know me? I know many things, young war chief. I know it you all. And your people. My identity at this time is unimportant. What is important is that you rally your people and leave these shores immediately. Leave? What's this all about, human? Human? <laughs> I left my humanity behind long ago. I am something different now. Know that I have seen the future and beheld the great burning shadow that is coming to consume this world. You sense it as well, don't you? The demons are returning. How would you know that, Frau? Yes, and only by leading your people across the sea to the distant lands of Kalimdor will you have a chance to stand against them. But how can we... I will answer all of your questions in time, young war chief. For now, rally your warriors and prepare to leave this land. We will speak again. No, I'm actually wondering... Like, of course, Thrall has been told the history... Nah, he's been told the history of the orcs, so he would know what the Legion is. None yeah, okay. Makes sense. But the spirits tell me that I should trust him. He watched the noble videos. <laughs> so yeah, Medivh is the guardian. And the guardian is basically humanity's defense. One of the mightiest powerful beings on the planet of Azeroth at this point in time. Um, Medivh's mother, Aquin, went a bit rogue. And seduced a certain wizard because she wanted offspring. And what she didn't realize is when she defeated the avatar of Sargeras, that its spirit actually went inside of her, waited, and then nestled inside of Medivh. So then when she passed on her guardian's powers to her son, yeah, th things didn't really turn out too well. Anywho, three days later, near the Lord Run coast... It's been three days and this prophet has yet to show himself. Hmm. I hope I'm not making a huge mistake by trusting him. War Chief, the clans are assembling as you ordered, but it will take them some time to reach us. Zug -zug. We must prepare this camp immediately. I want my warriors to have food and proper lodgings when they arrive. Yes, War Chief. Warrior, has there been any word from Hellscream? He and the Warsong clan were supposed to have been here by now. Nope, they're murdered, all dead. No, War Chief. We haven't heard from Hellscream in some time. Damn it, Hellscream. Where the hell are you? I've actually been working on uh, the story of Garrosh 2.0, as many requested it. Uh, Let's get on with so it. So diving back into this is quite nice. The blinking button at the top of the screen indicates uh -huh. that your quest journal has been updated. Sick. To find out more about your objectives, click on the quest gold. button. Okay, so when it comes to key bindings, what was the recommendation again? To put a hero on a certain Once button? Once a peon has been ordered to harvest gold, you will automatically travel back and forth Howdy between everybody. the gold mine and your closest great hall. Here are a few additional peons. Oh, thank you. To increase the rate of gold collection. Thanks for that. You have just placed a rally point for your structure. One for melee, two for range, three for caster. This building, oh. He will automatically travel to the rally point's location. Mm. To place a rally point, Select one of your unit producing structures and right click on the ground where you want the rally point to appear. Your hero unit must be D1 by default. What? The amount of gold that you gold. currently possess uh -huh. is displayed in the upper right portion yeah, of the yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As peons return to your great hall with gold, your gold I stockpile am increases. The war chief. Training a unit takes time. Uh -huh. When your great hall is selected, you Let's can see it on the I know, I know all these things. To support a larger population, We're gonna need some burrows. Will have to be Base at four, burrows production at five, upgrade at six, armies at one, two, or three. Oh, okay. To a burrow, Heroes with the F keys. Oh, yeah! Like F1. On, no oh, shit, right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, right, so we got the lumber, we got the gold. Now we're gonna have a peon. And Mr. Peon 
Ready to work. First of all, wait, where did you go? Oh, there you are. Hmm? Now, Show the people the how beautiful you are in the command card. Look at it. Look at that beautiful peon. Notice that additional Such a warrior of the hordes. The to construct an orc burrow, click on the build orc burrow button. Need more burrows. Build or burrow. The to where you want the build. There you go. Can they still slash dance? How do you make them dance? Is it just type in slash dance and they do it? Something to work. Well placed war mills can increase the efficiency no. of your lumber harvest. <laughs> Try ordering a peon to construct a war mill near where your peons are chopping wood. Build war mill. Like that's Okey those little glitches is what I'm talking about. Like if you try to do things fast, the game is unable to keep up. <laughs> uh gold seems to be alright. They're not they're not staggering too much, so that seems to be doing fine. The Let us restless. take Thrall out. He could do a bit of exploration. Uh, meanwhile, we're gonna build up the base. Do I want more peons? Nah, I got plenty of peons. Thrall, where you at, buddy? I am the war chief. Yeah, you're, ch you're checking out the waters. Is it nice? Uh, burrow has been created. War mills being worked on. Train a barracks. Train five crew runs. All right, you. Yes. Build me a barracks. Now that your burrow has been completed, and then you can go back to lumbering. Be assigned to a new oh, task. hi! No. My favorite <gasps> game in hard times. Yes. Not this one. Amazing. Ani and him. Thank you very much for the twenty-nine, no. baby. Is that my tower? Mm. That is my tower. I was I was worried for a moment. I hope for the notifications honor. are not too loud. Like, I checked out the uh, yes. settings, and I was like, maybe I can disable all of them in one go. Doom, yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't going to do that. Work complete. So hopefully we can deal. The Five workers on one mine, yeah. War mills contain various Two, upgrades four. that can be researched to improve complete. your troops. To see what upgrades work, are available, work. select your war mill. Oh, that's upgrades, is it? All available upgrades appear as buttons in the War Mills command card. To research an upgrade, left click on the one you want to purchase. We need more lumber. Shit, we need more lumber, yo. So six. F1. The war you chief. killed the things. Alright, howdy, I'll truck. Hello, Dodo. For honor. Ooh, I don't think. Do I want to mess with those? Dabu. Eh, maybe. Maybe Fro could take them. Yes. If he can't, then we'll just send him back home. Come on, Thrall, show us what you got. Work complete. Now we need to train grunts. We need more gold. Mm -hmm. Continue up. producing grunts until you reach your quest requirement. Work oh, complete. Thrall, it doesn't look good, buddy. Can you go, finish go. off that? Maybe you'll ding. No, I don't think you're gonna ding. Run. Oh, you definitely wanna run. Yes. <laughs> you definitely wanna run. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you can go do the lumber thing. Um, do the upgrade thing, the building thing. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's get on with it. More than eight times to get the Easter egg phrases. Ah. Master, what you want? Yes. Why are you poking me again? Why don't you lead an army instead of touching me? Poke, poke, poke. Is that all you do? Ooh, that My is kind of nice. Forward. Me so horned, me hurt you long time. Me no sound like Yoda. Do I? <laughs> it not easy being green. Huh? Yes. We did it as well, Fro. The war chief. Do you have the poke thing as well? The spirits are restless. Let's get on with it. My people are strong. My life for the whole Research I complete. will lead them to their destiny. I want Frau to get upset. -y. The spirits will guide me. Get upset, Frau. I may have been raised by humans, but I'm no fool. <laughs> I am the war chief. Lokriga, no girl. The spirits are restless. All right, that 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 all you do apparently. My people are strong. Um. So I'm waiting for like two more warriors, but I guess. Let's get on with it. I guess we can roll out with these guys. Then the other warriors can go like to this tower, I suppose, and just keep on producing. I'm pretty sure upgrades have been done. 
And I mean, peons are getting the resources. We might want to get chief. some more burrows going, maybe. You little what peon. You uh, build me, uh... Never mind, we're not gonna go for more burrows. Hello there! The spirits Coming up risen. on two years, mate. Skuntaman! Thank you very much for the 22, baby. The bridge is, uh, the bridge is down, Skuntaman. Help! Oh, wait, no, they fixed it. orcs are in violation of the Alliance Internment Act. <laughs> We've already captured one of your leaders. If you surrender now, we'll spare your lives. War Chief, they say they've captured one of our leaders. Maybe they're referring to Hellscream. I hope not. But if they have captured Hellscream, I'll make them regret it. Oh, yeah. Lok Tarogar! Come, my warriors. We must drive the humans back. The interment act as well. That's what they call it. Let's get on with it. Okay. Blow that dude up. Uh, what are your strains? Get over here. I am the War Chief. I don't really have a heal for you, Thrall. I mean, I guess I could use the mana potion, but it seems like a bit of a waste right now. Orcs are very sophisticated in their... in their human language. Does battle sound a lot louder than the other sounds, or is that my imagination? For honor. The wretched humans have been destroyed. Ye. Move Thrall and the rest of your forces across the bridge, such as the one located here. Yep. That's what I did. The spirits Wait, I found Hellscream? Oh no, that is my quest now. I need to find Hellscream. Yes. Mm, are there any humans For to slaughter? Honor. I mean, there's the sheep to blow up. Ah, I need a Mephisto! Hello, hello, hello. Oh Let's yeah. Yes. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's the Horde. Horde Master? who? Horde's gonna get ya. Um, go nuts, Sushi Sparkle. Go nuts with the backseat for Warcraft 3. I played this game before, and tips are just are just welcome. Mm. Just don't get upset with me if I don't play the way you would play. Dabu. As long as, as long as we got that, we're My all Gucci. For, for honor. For honor. Trumka, that was like well met in Orkish. Fast forward like 10 years and I see him well weak. That's what's apparently what the, the devs say. Ah, cool. My life for the horde. Trumka, war chief. My I life for the horde. The chief. Blood and honor. Loktaro gar. Yes. Victory or flee. Hmm. Run away. We for are the hordes. Zuck, zuck. Your my time life for the horde. You guys, Run. you're going to be my second party. Get in there. Uh, definitely gonna need some burrows though. So, back home. I'm trying to uh, play around a little bit with the keybinds as well. Get some burrows going. Sure, you can. And then, after you're done with that, you can go back. Apparently, we now have a spellcaster who can do purge. It often becomes necessary to quickly switch between them to cast their individual spells. Okay. By using the subgroup interface, mm -hmm. you can do so without having to try to select them individually. I see. How very Notice very that interesting. The selected units are displayed in the bottom middle portion of your screen by little portraits. One of the unit portraits is highlighted with a yellow glow. This means that it is the currently activated subgroup. Uh-huh. You can switch between subgroups by pressing the tab key or left-clicking on one of the portraits that is not highlighted. This activates that subgroup and displays their spells in your command card. Okay, well that's good to know. So I can tab and switch into different units. Alright. Your army has grown to such a large size that it now requires a portion of your income to sustain it. Sick. This maintenance cost is referred to as upkeep. Sick. Bring me more. More members Let's of the hordes. Uh, nothing secretly or spicy yes. to be found there. Man. Dabu. Let's go. Master. War Chief, we've found where they're holding Hellscream, but the area is protected by fortified guard towers. Then destroy them. Hellscream must be free. Yes, all your lives are mine to spend. You can all perish. For all I care. I mean, Loktar, Ogar, for the hordes, and all that good shit. For honor. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's the hordes! Let's get on with it. There we go. 
Shamans in a different select group for you use mostly for the cast that gets clunky to tap shift in combat. But is perks actually something that you want to use, I wonder? Yes. Like, is it is it gonna be a necessity? Because I don't see these guys using anything that I might want to perch. Yeah, it is. All right. How can I help? Yes. So melee units go in one, two. All right. Time for killing. Let's get on there we with go. it. It hurts summons, but also slows heavily. Um, perch the running help? units or the summoned units. Okay. Yes, yes, War Chief. Yo, Gromash, you in there, buddy? Zug, zug. What you want? Hey, Gromash. Hell scream. Are you all right? No, he's called Grum. I'm fine, little brother. Luckily, they only injured my pride. Great, because we're getting out of here now. We're leaving the human lands for good. I've been wondering. Finally. Follow me. I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> we can set sail on the humans' own ships. Brilliant. <laughs> Perfect. But we'll need to wait for the rest of the Horde. The Horde is assembled, War Chief. We await only your command. Well, that was quick. I've been wondering if I should mention the story of Garrosh the way he got now, his tattoo. Go, young thrall. Sail west to the lands of Kalimdor. It is there that you will find your destiny. It is there that your people's salvation will be assured. Yay! <laughs> Because, um, like, it's, it's a nice touch. It's a nice touch to mention that he, like, got his chin tattooed in the ways of his father. But at the same time, it really does not flow with the overall storyline. And I wonder if it's important enough to actually mention or not. 